Okay, here's a quick uh, walkthrough on setting up uh, the ER9X and uh, downloading new firmware onto the Eternity 9XR. We'll assume you've got uh, the data cable and drivers set up as per another video, but uh, get uh, your radio attached. Go to the ER9X website, and there's links to this on the web on uh, on the web page you're watching this from. And we want to download this ER9X file. You'll notice it says if you're unsure about what to save, uh, choose this one. We're going to right click and save the link as, and we're just going to save that onto our desktop. And you see it's, it's really fast. Uh, it uh, downloads almost immediately. The other thing you need is the EPE, which is the uh, uh, PC side. It's got Windows, Linux, Mac installer. So I'll, I'll assume you know how to run those installers. So just uh, there, there's nothing special about it. Um, just uh, download the installer and uh, run it and install. And when you run, you'll see the EPE here. Now, the thing we care about is this option right here, right flash firmware to transmitter. And we're going to click on that, and we're going to download the hex file that we just selected, and we're going to write that out. Now, two things <coughs> will happen. It is, it's going to uh, erase all of the memory on your radio. That means all of your radio settings will be lost, all of your stick calibration will be lost, all of your model memories will be lost. In the future this isn't a problem because you'll be able to save those onto the PC and re-download them, but the first time uh, you just have to, you know, you're going to lose that and you're going to have to enter those in. Now when it starts writing you'll see that the screen on the 9XR goes blank. That's totally normal. Uh, basically it shuts off the radio uh, and uh, attaches directly to the CPU and downloads the firmware uh, into the microprocessor and uh, it'll reboot in a moment. Yes, as soon as it finishes uh, uh, reading back the uh, firmware to make sure that it was properly written. Now at that time you'll see a very alarming thing that on your screen of the radio it'll come back on and you're going to get an alert that it says bad EEPROM data. And basically all that means is that you've got a freshly installed uh, ER9X and you just need to format the uh, format uh, the EEPROM. So let's click the uh, click this message away and we'll turn our attention back over to the radio. We press any key, it formats the EEPROM and now it gives you a fresh install of ER9X. Be sure and uh, calibrate the, the sticks. Be sure and calibrate um, the uh, voltage meter. And we'll uh, cover editing and uploading and downloading uh, model settings in the next video.